viewers and welcome to Fashion Sewing Blog TV. I'm Colleen G. Lee. In this video tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use pink and shears. Here we have a pair of pink and shears and they uh, resemble scissors. What they do is that they neaten raw edges and how they do that is with this jagged edge on the scissor blade. So if I just pick that up turn it around you can see it's happening on both sides and it cuts into the fabric like so they can be used on seams which is what I'm going to demonstrate today but its prime purpose is to minimize fraying of your fabric and they can also be used as a decorative effect on sewing projects here I have a plain or open seam and what I want to do is minimise the fraying on the edge. Now if you don't have a zigzag stitch or a serger this is one of the simple seam finishes that you can use and it is um, basically a beginner's way of knowing how to finish seams. So what I'm going to do is do a row of stitching a roughly about 6mm, 7mm from the raw edge straight down and then I'm going to get my pink and shears and then neaten that edge. So what I'm doing here is just working on one seam allowance and then I'm making sure the edge of my foot is aligned with the seam on the garment for example and then I'm just going to do a straight stitch all the way down just using this seam as a guide to make sure I keep my stitching as straight as possible down. I've done a straight stitch on both seam allowances. Once you've done that, is get your pink and shears and just cut along the raw edge, positioning your scissors within that V shape, and start again all the way down. You come to the end and then you repeat the process on the opposite side so here we have a pinked straight finish to a seam so the pink and shears gives you this effect and that helps to minimize the fraying and also the straight stitching stops the fraying going any further towards the seam that is how you use pink and shears on a plain or open seam don't forget to subscribe to Fashion Sewing Blog TV for free weekly video tutorials and if you have any comments or queries please put them in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.